Miss Christina here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an origami balloon. I grew up making a ton of these. They're one of my favorite things to fold because that you end up with a cute little toy that you can play with at the end. And it's a good in-house ball because it's made of paper and air and it's not really going to cause any damage. So to get started we need our square piece of paper. If you haven't already watched my video on how to turn a rectangular piece of paper into a square, go back and watch that first and then come back and start this video. All right, so to start, we're gonna to wanna to turn so our white side of our page is facing up. I've already got some folds in this piece of paper because my cat interrupted the first video of this. Uh, if she shows up again, I'll just let her have a cameo and we'll keep going. So to start our origami balloon, we're gonna to wanna to turn the paper so it's a diagonal because we are going to fold up. So we're gonna want those two points to meet here. Really take your time with origami to make sure these edges are lined up as close as you possibly can get them. It's going to make the rest of the folding so much easier if these early lines are really sharp. All right, going to really crease that bottom edge, push down, use your fingernail. You can use the side of a pencil or a marker, that works too. Open it up, and then we're going to do the same thing in this direction. We're going to fold up the point. Make sure those edges are really, really lined up. You can kind of see here in this corner, if that's a nice, nice sharp point, you've got a good fold. And then fold that edge down real, real sharp. We're gonna open it up again. Now we're gonna do folds this way. We're gonna make this edge meet this edge. And there's my cat. Say hi, excuse me, thank you. All right, so we're gonna fold there. Make sure those two corners are lined up nice and neat and then crease. I'm going to open it one more time. And now we're going to fold up this way again. Watch those two corners. You can get them to match and meet up. That edge will look good and you can crease. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got all of our folds. I'm going to fold that top part back down. So I've got a rectangular shape and the open side is facing me. I'm going to fold it like a book. You already got that crease there, should be really easy. Now, the next step is to, see how that wants to fall open like that? That's what we want. We're going to push in here. If you put your hand right in there, you see it kind of opens up into another triangle. And you're going to squash that down. So now I have a triangle attached to a square. And turn it around. So we've got this square part here and do the exact same thing. You'll see this a lot in origami where you do something on one side, you turn around, you do the exact same thing again. We're going to pan in there, see it squashes down and flatten it the rest of the way. So what we've got now is two triangles that are connected in the middle. Next step, we're going to take this point and we're going to fold it up to meet the top. So only take this top edge, leave that back page down there. We're gonna come back for him later. So we're gonna fold up, we're gonna line up this edge with, you're gonna be able to see a crease here from all of our other folding. And you're gonna line up that point with the top. Take your time, make sure the line is good, and then crease. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just the front flap. I'm gonna fold up. A little sharper there, there we go. Make sure those edges all line up and then you crease. We're gonna turn it upside down and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Fold that edge up. And then crease. Last one. Fold it up, make sure all those edges line up as good as you can get them, and then crease. Okay, there's a lot more steps in this project. You're getting there. So our next step, so notice we still, we, once again, we have a back flap and we have a front flap. Only wanna grab that front flap. And we are gonna fold that tip in to the middle. Just gonna fold it in like that. 
and then crease. So now it looks like we have three little triangles. We have this two there and then this one on top. So you want that point pretty much touching that line in between. Don't go over it though. Just go right up to that edge. Now, guess what? We're going to do the same thing on this flap. I'm going to fold it to meet its friend there, right there, and then flatten that out. Excellent. And now, guess what? We're going to turn it over, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Kind of fold that edge in to the middle. You can see how that lines up with the one underneath. And now one more. Excellent. All right, we are almost there. That's kind of a little diamond shape. So now we have to lock all these folds in place. And then there's one last set of folds that are going to do that for us, and it's going to hold it together when we blow up our balloon. So we're going to want to take this top edge flap. So you want to make sure you're going to have two sides. There's going to be a side with some loose flaps, and the other side is one solid folded bunch. So you want Take these loose flaps one at a time and you are going to fold it and you're going to use this line from our other fold here. Let me bring it a little closer. We're going to fold along this line. So it kind of looks like a little chicken wing or a spaceship. Okay, so that's how that looks. And then one more fold for this guy. We're going to fold him to match that straight line that's right there. So. Hold it back. So we've made like a really tiny triangle, like half the size of the other triangle. And cat. Hi, Daisy. She's going to watch. Okay. So now that we've got that tiny, tiny little triangle, this is the fiddly part. So if you pick up that flap from before, this one, Daisy's helping, you're going to Open that up. See how there's like a little opening there? And that is where this triangle is going to go. So I'm just going to tuck it in, slide it in there. So it's actually that, that flap went in the pocket. All right. Be patient with yourself. It may take you a couple tries to get it right, but once you get it, it's not too bad. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Fold along that edge. You got that chicken wing, it's a little spaceship. And then fold that back in. Okay, so we've got our little triangle. Lift our flap. Open up the pocket. And if you get the point of the triangle starting to go in, the rest of it just follows. All right, very good. We're halfway there. Turn it around. Do the same thing again. Fold our chicken wing, and then fold that in half back in. Open up our pocket. Oops, there we go. There's our pocket. And tuck that little triangle into the pocket. Oops, didn't want to go. There we go. Let's coax it in there. One more. Chicken wing, fold it in, open up that little pocket, and tuck in our little triangle. All right, so the folding is finished. So now you want to look at your two ends. One side is going to be solid. The other end is going to have a little bit of a gap. You can see a little bit of a hole there. So that's where we're gonna, we're actually gonna blow into this to blow it up. Now be careful not to get a whole lot of liquid. You don't wanna blow any saliva into there, just air. So keep your mouth a little bit away from it and just puff some air into it. it might take you a couple tries. along. Do you want this? Do you want this? Excuse you. All right, so now we've got a cute little rainbow. 
balloon. There's a lot of steps to this project. Especially those last couple ones, things get really small, really tight, really fiddly. Just keep working at it and pretty soon you're gonna have a little collection just like me. So keep practicing. Don't worry if you have to do it a couple times. I had to do everything I've shown you here a couple times before I got it right. So be patient with yourself and have a little fun. And I'll see you next time.